My name is Rosamond Aduki Sidebra, and I am the WHO advocate for health and air quality. And I also run the Ella Roberta Family Foundation. The foundation takes up literally all my time. Um, I set it up when my late daughter passed away, and it's to raise awareness of the dangers of asthma and the impact of air pollution on health. The reason why I'm actually doing this video, um, I feel incredibly strongly about it. And also after sitting in my late daughter's inquest, I feel this is something that we all need to be aware, aware of, how it impacts our health on, on a daily basis. It's something I've come to know over the past seven years, really. Um, we can conclude it probably even affects more people, almost 9 million people now worldwide. And it's linked to so many illnesses um, that lots of people suffer from cardiovascular, diabetes, asthma. Um, when there's a spike in air pollution, lots more people go to hospital with heart attacks, asthma attacks. I still believe that not many people actually realize how quickly especially young lungs are affected. Um, I sometimes think people think we have, I don't know, maybe months or years, but I've learned again about my daughter. It was very immediate. When there was a spike in air pollution, it would affect her airway straight away. So that's immediately. I don't think we have as much time as even I first thought. Um, so when children are walking up and down a busy road, they are being infected, you know, they are being impacted there and then, rather than six months or 12 months or 18 months. The impact is real immediate. Um, this is the only way about it. People, we can't assume people know. So ultimately, we have to find a way of making the invisible visible. I just think more, much, 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 much more needs to be done. And if we raised awareness, the way we raised the awareness of COVID, then maybe there will be a completely different response. We have to admit the response has not been adequate. We talk about it in these niche groups, and I know about it. A lot of the people there know about it. But I'm talking about the public at, you know, wide out there. They don't know. They know some, but they don't know enough. They don't know how immediate it is. I have to have hope. Um, I never gave up hope with her and I'm not going to give up hope now. But it's, it's, it's incredibly difficult because so many things are not going the way they should. And sometimes it's quite difficult for me to express how passionate I am, how worried I am that more and more people will, will die unless we take this matter seriously. But we all have to do our bit. And I'm not talking about individuals, so people shouldn't think I'm pointing the finger. Um, governments, mayors and cities, boroughs, and where they lead. And if they have schemes, people will follow because people generally want cleaner air.